Hey, can you believe it's been three months since I posted my diversity is not a trend video because one too many people compared Six of Crows to the Gilded Wolves and claimed that the Gilded Wolves was a ripoff of Six of Crows. Yeah, I saw someone else do that and well, the overdue follow-up video is finally here. Hello everyone, it's Paola and today I'm going to talk about how diversity is still not a trend. The last video that I made about this was in January, it was actually the first video I believe that I posted in 2020. I also promised a follow-up video, so here it is. The study is called Diversity in Publishing 2019 and it was done by Lee and Lowe Books. As always, I will leave a link to the study down below. Let's get into it. First of all, we have the industry overall. In terms of race, 75% of the industry overall is white, 7% is Asian slash Native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Indian, 6% is Latinx slash Latino slash Mexican, which I think is an interesting way to um, divide the ethnicity. 5% of the industry represents Black slash Afro-American slash Afro-Caribbean people. 3% is biracial slash multiracial. 1% is American Indian slash Alaskan Native slash First Nation slash Native American. 1% is Middle Eastern and 2% is other. So already there's an overwhelming amount of white people. The fact that the representation is broken down in ethnicity, but it's not given their proper names. Like, look at this. Asian slash Native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Asian, and then below, Middle Eastern. The Middle East is in Asia too, by the way. But, I mean, 7%, that 7% is supposed to represent one, two, three, four, five separate ethnicities. What the fuck? In terms of gender, 75% of the industry is made up of cis women. 22% is made up of cis men. 1% is gender fluid slash non-binary slash gender queer. Less than 1% is made up of trans men. Less than 1% trans women. Less than 1% intersex. And 1% other. The gap is so huge, I cannot wrap my head around it, it's a little intense. In terms of orientation, 82% of the industry overall is made up of straight slash heterosexual people, 9% is bisexual slash pansexual, 4% is gay, 2% is lesbian, 1% is asexual, and 2% is other. And finally, in terms of disability, 89% of the industry is made up of non-disabled people and only 11% is disabled. Let's take a look at the executive level. In terms of race, 78% of the industry is made of white slash Caucasian people. 5% is made up of Asian slash Native Hawaii slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Indian. 3% is Latinx slash Latino slash Mexican. 4% is black slash Afro-American slash Afro-Caribbean. 9% is biracial slash multiracial. 0% is American Indian slash Alaskan Native slash First Nation slash Native American. Less than 1% is Middle Eastern and 1% is other. Wow. Here, I just, I, I am speechless. In terms of gender, 60% are cis women. 38% are cis men. 1% is gender fluid slash non-binary slash gender queer. 0% are trans men. Less than 1% are trans women. 0% are intersex and 2% are other. Do you see the pie chart? It's incredibly, incredibly overwhelming. And I just don't see why anyone would think that diversity is a trend when we have this amount of white, cis, straight and non-disabled people working at executive levels in the publishing industry. Orientation. 82% are straight slash heterosexual, 8% are bisexual slash pansexual, 6% are gay, 2% are lesbian, less than 1% are asexual, and 2% is other. And in terms of disability, 
90% is non-disabled and 10% is disabled. In terms of editorial, which I think it's a very, very interesting part of the industry, recently I believe there were two authors that came out with their stories about how their editors said that their books were all good and great and blah 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 but they just pretty much not palatable for white people and I think a lot of it is due to the pie charts here. In terms of race, 85% of the editorial part of publishing is made up of white slash Caucasian people, 5% are Asian slash Native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Indian, 2% are Latinx slash Latino slash Mexican, 1% is Black slash Afro-American slash Afro-Caribbean, 5% is biracial slash multiracial, less than 1% is American Indian slash Alaska Native slash First Nation slash Native American, 1% is Middle Eastern, and 1% is Other. In terms of gender, 77% of the editorial part of the industry is made up of cis women, 21% are men, less than 1% are gender fluid slash non-binary slash gender queer, less than 1% are trans men, less than 1% are women, 0% are intersex, and 1% is other. In terms of orientation, 76% are straight slash heterosexual, 13% are bisexual slash pansexual, 5% are gay, 2% are lesbian, 2% are asexual, and 2% are other. And in terms of disability, 88% are non-disabled and only 12% are disabled. In terms of the people who work in sales, 81% are white slash Caucasian, 5% are Asian slash Native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Asian, 4% are Latinx slash Latino slash Mexican, 3% are Black slash Afro-American slash Afro-Caribbean, 6% are biracial slash multiracial, Less than 1% are American Indian slash Alaska Native slash First Nation slash Native American. 1% are Middle Eastern. 1% are other. Yikes. On a bike. In terms of gender, 74% of the people who work in sales are cis women. 23% are cis men. 1% are gender fluid slash non-binary slash gender queer. Less than 1% are trans men. Less than 1% are trans women, 0% are intersex, 1% is other. In terms of orientation, 86% are straight slash heterosexual, 7% are bisexual slash pansexual, 5% are gay, 1% are lesbian, 1% is asexual, and 1% is other. And finally, in terms of disability, we have 92% of people who are non-disabled and 8% who are are you kidding me? This, the gap is humongous. How are people still saying that diversity is a trend? In terms of marketing and publicity, 74% are white slash Caucasian, 8% are Asian slash Native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Asian, 5% are Latinx slash Latino slash Mexican, 4% are black slash Afro-American slash Afro-Caribbean. 9% are biracial slash multiracial. 0% are American Indian slash Alaska Native slash First Nation slash Native American. Less than 1% is Middle Eastern and 1% is other. In terms of gender, 81% are cis women. 16% are cis men, 1% is gender fluid slash non-binary slash gender queer, less than 1% are trans men, less than 1% are trans women, less than 1% are intersex, less than 1% are other. In terms of orientation, 80% are straight slash heterosexual, 11% are bisexual slash pansexual, 5% are gay, 1% are lesbian, 1% are asexual, 2% are other. And finally, in terms of disability, 90% are non-disabled and 10% are disabled. Where do we see diversity trending? Next, the book reviewers. 80% are white slash Caucasian, 
4% are Asian slash Native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Asian. 3% are Latinx slash Latino slash Mexican. 4% are Black slash Afro-American slash Afro-Caribbean. 7% are biracial slash multiracial. Less than 1% are American Indian slash Alaskan Native slash First Nation slash Native American. Less than 1% are Middle Eastern and 1% are other. I, this makes me incredibly sad. How do you expect people to get excited about diverse books if you're giving them to white people? In terms of gender, 78% are cis women, 18% are cis men, 2% are gender fluid slash non-binary slash gender queer, Less than 1% are trans men, less than 1% are trans women, 0% are intersex, and 1% are other. Orientation. 76% are straight slash heterosexual, 12% are bisexual slash pansexual, 4% are gay, 3% are lesbian, 2% are asexual, 3% are other. And in terms of disability, 81% are non-disabled and 19% are disabled. If a book is about an identity you don't share, please tell the publisher to not send you those kinds of books anymore because they are much better off in the hands of people who actually share the identities of either the author or the main characters of the book. Literary agents. 80% are white slash Caucasian, 7% are Asian slash Native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Asian. 5% are Latinx slash Latino slash Mexican, 4% are Black slash Afro-American slash Afro-Caribbean, 1% are biracial slash multiracial, 0% are American Indian slash Alaskan Native slash First Nation slash Native American, 2% are Middle Eastern, 0% are other. Gender. 84% are cis women, 12% are cis men, 2% are gender fluid slash non-binary slash gender queer. 0% is trans men. 0% is trans women. 0% are intersex and 1% are other. Orientation. 76% are straight. 13% are bisexual slash pansexual. 3% are gay. 1% are lesbian. 2% are asexual. 5% are other. Disability. 91% are non-disabled. 9% are disabled. Diversity trend where? And finally, interns. 51% are white. 14% are Asian slash Native Hawaiian slash Pacific Islander slash South Asian slash Southeast Indian. 5% are Latinx slash Latino slash Mexican. 8% are Black slash Afro-American slash Afro-Caribbean. 18% are biracial slash multiracial. 0% are American Indian slash Alaskan Native slash First Nation slash Native American. 1% are Middle Eastern, 3% are other. Gender, 78% are cis women, 10% are cis men, 9% are gender fluid slash non-binary slash gender queer, 0% are trans men, 0% are trans women, 0% are intersex, and 3% are other. In terms of orientation, 51% are straight slash heterosexual, 30% are bisexual slash pansexual, 2% are gay, 5% are lesbian, 9% are asexual, 4% are other. And finally, in disability, 78% are non-disabled and 22% are disabled. Not as bad as the other ones, but still, the gap is fucking humongous. There's an abyss that separates marginalized creators from white people in the industry. And for people to still think that diversity is a trend, just completely unacceptable. The publishing industry needs to do better and we need to do better as reviewers too. We all need to do better as bookish people. Not, it's not just up to the high ranks, it's also up to us. So that's it for today's video. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Um, recommend me some diverse creators and some diverse books down below. I will leave a list of diverse booktubers and diverse books that I love down below as well. 
And if you haven't already and you'd like to, go ahead and hit subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.